Hi, I'm Yasin, the number one distiller from Emerald, originally from Hunter. This part of my tutorial will explain the basics to the distilling puzzle. If you are unfamiliar with distilling's goals, pieces, controls, or scoring, this is a great place to start. Well, let's start from the start. Distilling is a crafting puzzle on Puzzle Pirates. Its free day is Friday. Any other day of the week, you'll need a labor badge or subscription to play it. It is one of the hardest and most frustrating puzzles to learn, but doing so can be very rewarding. The goal of this telling is to send up as many crystal clear rows as possible. CCs are rows with only white bubbles in them. Distilling has five bubbles. These are white, brown, black, burnt, and spice. White bubbles are considered pure or crystal clear bits of rum. Brown and black bubbles are impurities in the rum, with blacks being more imperfect than browns. Burnt bubbles are created when you burn two white bubbles. Finally, spices spawn randomly and give you a slight score increase or decrease. In the bottom center of the screen there is the furnace. Every 15 seconds, when the furnace heats up, the weight of the rightmost column determines if the column will be sent up to the keg or down to burn in the furnace. You can also activate the furnace at any time by right-clicking. Each of the five bubbles have weight. White and burnt bubbles are considered light. Brown and spice pieces are neutral, and black pieces are heavy. A column whose combined weight is considered light will be sent up into the keg. A column whose combined weight is considered heavy will be sent down to the furnace to burn. In simple terms, a column will only go down if black bubbles outnumber white bubbles, including burns. This means a row with neutral weight will go up, including a row of all browns. Here. You can see the in-game diagram for piece movement. Each bubble moves up through one color and down through another. I believe this diagram is a very difficult way to think about how the pieces interact. In my other videos, I will explain better ways to think about piece interaction. To move a piece, simply click on the piece you want to move, then click on the piece you want to swap it with. Or, alternatively, you can click and hold the piece and then drag it wherever you want it to go. There are also controls set up to distill with your keyboard. However, in my opinion, attempting to do so will probably drive you mad. The largest element to scoring is your CC chain. CC in the distilling world means crystal clear. Crystal clear is a column with only whites or spices that gets put in the keg. When you manage to get two or more crystal clear columns next to each other, you start a CC chain. Each board requires you to sign up 12 rows before the game will end. For this reason, a perfect game in distilling is considered a CC 12. However, those distillers who are skilled enough may continue to chain CCs for as long as they are able. Personally, my highest CC is a 16. It is not uncommon for a new distiller to struggle getting one CC row set up, let alone chaining them. But unfortunately, due to the stiff ranking curve, improvement beyond able or proficient ranks is only possible with CC chains. The other factor to scoring is spices, which can either hurt or help your score. When a spice gets sent into the keg, you receive a small bonus. Alternatively, when a spice is burned, you receive a small deduction. Because spices cannot be moved, generally you don't get to choose if they get sent up or down. They can also influence your score by trapping pieces against the wall and preventing you from chaining CCs. Well, that's all the basics you'll ever need to know about distilling. The next video will explain the distilling strategy 
and how to start each puzzle. Feel free to join me as we delve into the impossibleness of distilling. Or well, I guess you could just give up and not click the link.